So welcome to Whippoorwill Holler. I'm Miss Lori and this is Mr. Brown. We live in the hills of Arkansas. We love the Lord. Keepers of the old way, but accept some of the new. We love to cook and we love to eat. We love to garden. It's in our blood. It's how we stay sustainable and fill our pantry. We do a lot of canning and preserving. We live a sustainable life. We love our family. We work hard. And every once in a while, we like to dance. So y'all join us. You come in from work, been gone from the house all day, anywhere from eight to 10 hours, or you've been out on the homestead and you have been working your little tail off. And you come in and you're like, what am I gonna cook for supper? Well, I did lay out some hamburger meat or maybe a pound of uh, ground pork or ground uh, turkey or ground chicken or maybe I've got some canned up um, spaghetti sauce with uh, meat sauce whatever it may be okay I want I need to put this on the table pretty quick I've got an instant pot instant pot so what do you do well my oldest daughter introduced me to instant pot spaghetti homemade spaghetti <laughs> and it's really good y'all well, anytime I make spaghetti for Mr. Brown, and he loves spaghetti. He loves to eat a big old plate of spaghetti. I just do it like I've always done it all my life. I just make my sauce up, cook my uh, spaghetti noodles, uh, make it just the way he likes it. But I come in from work, he's hungry, and he puts some supper on the table. And I'm telling you, whoever invented the Instapot, I'm telling y'all changed everything. So, we're gonna make a really easy Instapot spaghetti, creamy Instapot. I mean, it's got, we're gonna call it semi-homemade because I don't, number one, I don't have any of my homemade sauce left. That's one thing I'm gonna have to do this winter. In February, I'm gonna be making me up some more spaghetti sauce uh, to put in the pantry along with broth and chicken and I don't know what all. I've got a list. So I'm using, yes ma'am, I'm going to be using 32 ounces of store-bought spaghetti sauce. And I'm really picky about my spaghetti sauce. I really don't like store-bought. But I have found a brand that I really do like. So I'm going to be using that. And of course my meat, my seasoning, my spaghetti noodles. And then, at the end, we're going to put a little bit of cream cheese and Parmesan in there. And it's going to be done. And it's some of the best spaghetti you ever ate. So, let's get started on our Instant Pot Spaghetti. I think y'all are just really going to say, hey, this is too easy and oh so good. Spray your Instant Pot. We're going to use about a pound of ground beef. You can use a pound of ground pork turkey, chicken, whichever you choose. It'll all be good. And we're going to season it with a little bit of oregano. Probably about a teaspoon. We're going to use a little bit of uh, basil. Put some salt. I'm going to put a little bit of, uh, we're going to put this, this is basil from my garden. So we got thyme, we got, put a little bit of thyme in here. We've got oregano. Basil, salt, pepper. And if you want to, you can put you a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of garlic powder. But I'm going to have plenty of garlic in this. 
I'm going to put a little bit of fennel, a little bit of onions, and this is cooked up really good. There's not even hardly any grease on the bottom of this, so I don't have to strain it. Now I've got a 32 ounce jar of Rayo's, uh, this is roasted garlic, spaghetti sauce. And like I said, I don't like store bought, but this is one that I do like. And I do keep a couple jars in my pantry at all times, just to give me a little bit of help sometimes. So I'm going to pour 32 ounces of our spaghetti sauce in here. And if you've got some homemade already on the shelf, that's even better. I've got two and a half cups of water. That water, you need it in there to help cook your noodles. It's gonna, it's gonna thin your, your sauce out a little bit. But I'm gonna put some tomato paste in here. I'm gonna get about 12 ounces of regular spaghetti noodles. You can use thin spaghetti noodles if you want to. And I'm just going to break them in half. You can use probably any kind of noodles that you prefer. So 12 ounces and we're just going to push it down in there underneath that liquid because you want your noodles to be down under that to cook good. Now let me go get my tomato paste before I forget it. You're going to need about two tablespoons and that's to help thicken it back up because you had to put water in it to help cook your noodles. Okay, we're going to put our lid on here. Make sure the seal's on where it's supposed to be and I'm going to put it on manual for about eight minutes. And that should cook your noodles through and through. Okay, after they cook for eight minutes, I've done a quick release on it. Woo, it's a bubbling. Look at there. Them noodles is cooked. Smells so good. That spaghetti sauce uh, was roasted garlic, and it's got a lot of garlic in it because I can really smell it, and it smells really good in here. Okay, at this point, we're just going to turn this off. I'm going to stir it up good. And pretty much, our spaghetti's pretty much done. Now, I'm going to throw in about four ounces of... Uh, cream cheese. Some people put eight ounces. I I like it better with just four ounces. I think eight ounces is just a little bit much for me. We're going to put in about a third of a cup of Parmesan. Now remember I've turned my pot off. The instant pot don't have to cook anymore. We're just going to stir the cream cheese up really good underneath all that, uh, them hot noodles and sauce. And we're going to put the lid on it here in a minute. And we're just going to let that cream cheese melt. So your spaghetti's pretty much done. You see how quick that, that happened. So your family will be able to eat pretty quick. Put the lid on it. Let that cream cheese melt. I'm going to take the lid off and we'll stir it again, stir it up because I'm sure that that curing cheese is melted by now. It's getting there. And you could put a whole eight ounce of cream cheese in here now, y'all. I just, for my taste, I just really like it better with the four ounces and then the third cup of Parmesan cheese. Can y'all see how creamy that is? It kind of turned the the uh, 
the color of your sauce which was so red and now it's just got a creamy color to it so supper's ready i'm gonna make us a little bit of uh, garlic bread or i may just pop in some crescent rolls or something i always keep a couple cans of crescent rolls in the refrigerator for sunday meals and stuff like that I think Mr. Brown's going to really like it. Well, <laughs> this is some delicious spaghetti, but about scalding my tongue, tongue off. It's still too hot. It's so good. I may not be getting no sugars tonight because it's got a lot of garlic in it. But I love this brand of spaghetti sauce. And, um, of course, with us, garlic, too. But, ooh, that's a lot of garlic. But it tastes really good. That cream cheese and that extra Parmesan cheese and it's creamy. It's delicious. It's really good. So, if you are looking for an easy supper or maybe a, a Sunday uh, lunch after church or something, this is the way to go. I mean, it was just so easy to throw in there. And, you know, sometimes semi-homemade is just some of the best. And uh, what really would have been good if I'd have had some of my homemade spaghetti sauce. That would have made it better. But Miss Lori's got to get busy and get her pantry filled up. And we'll be making some spaghetti sauce. And we'll be canning up some broth and chicken and turkey. And, uh, well, it depends. If I can't find any turkey on sale, I won't be doing that. But... We'll do what we can, huh? But I do have some corned beef. I want to uh, can up some hash. And uh, I want to let y'all know that uh, I was taught by some of the very best how to can and preserve and put food up. I would never, ever do anything that was unsafe. Anything that I've showed y'all is not something I just do nilly-willy. It's stuff that I have stood by my grandmother or watched my mother-in-law or anybody else like that that uh, that canned a lot and canned for 80 years um, that's the people that I stand by and uh, learn how to can and they done it safely good food always the pantry always full none of us got sick so always for sure go by you know safe canning rules but just know that I'm not an unsafe canner and I'll never steer you wrong. And I'll never steer you wrong on a good Instapot recipe either. If y'all like more, just let me know because there's plenty of them. That is such good spaghetti. Really, really good. So y'all let me know in the comments. If y'all like to see some more Instapot recipes, I do need to get my canning done this month though, so there'll probably be more canning videos. Maybe a few cooking videos. And I think Mr. Brown's got some that he's fixing to upload too. So we love y'all. God bless. Make some spaghetti. <laughs>